Well, we are now honored to have Professor Robbie Thompson to say a few words for us while we are finalizing the award. Thank you. Okay, now I've got to use the microphone. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say um, thank you to the University of Hong Kong and in particular to um, Professor Tam, the Graduate School and the Knowledge Exchange Office for um, putting on this event and inviting me here to judge. Now, to all of you, the quality of the competition here today has really been outstanding and I'm honoured that I was um, given this opportunity to judge the competition along with the other members of the judging panel. From the presentation of the very first talk, I knew that it was going to be both a very interesting day, but also a very hard day as we determine who gets to actually win um, this um, competition. Now, if I could just give you a brief history, the three minute thesis um, competition here today is an example really of our truly global world. So this was a concept that began in 2008 at the University of Queensland, where I'm the Deputy Dean of the Graduate School. And in only a few short years, this has been held in Canada, in England, in Scotland, Sweden, and now in Hong Kong. For this, or for me, this competition epitomizes uh, what we need our young researchers to do across disciplines to come together to advance knowledge and to really, that's the way we can be truly innovative. We need to communicate our work and create enthusiasm for our work and what we do, not only amongst our colleagues as we're gathered here today, but to our wider outside networks in both government and in private industry. So framing your work within language that can be understood by others is a key to this competition and it really is a key to disseminating knowledge. So I want to say well done to everybody who gave a presentation here today. You really can all be very proud of your achievements. So thank you. Thank you, Professor Robert Thompson. May I now invite Dr. Strickland to say a few words for us? Dr. Strickland, please. I'm not in a position to say anything very startling. Uh, I, I have found today's um, presentations very interesting. I think it gives me uh, an insight into what Hong Kong U is doing and um, how it conducts its affairs that I, I did not have before, and I think that's been particularly interesting. Um, I think this sort of exercise is particularly useful for the research postgraduate students themselves because it encourages them to uh, to attempt to see what they're doing and present it in a in a manner that w is comprehensible and appeals to people outside and of course very often the people outside think everybody in universities sit in ivory towers and this is precisely an opportunity for of course for our research postgraduate students to prove they're not in ivory towers and they do understand that as well as conducting research that no doubt they find totally absorbing, they also have a responsibility to explain that research to people. Um, when I embarked upon this exercise, I thought that three minutes was a ridiculously short time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have come to realize, in fact, that it is, in fact, a perfectly reasonable length of time to do what we are setting out to do. Uh, and I think that's probably why this, this three-minute MT um, exercise is proving popular because it is a very good way to to give a broader perspective I think to our research postgraduate students. I'm going to be fascinated to see by the results because I mean I've got my own very personal views of you know who was good and who was bad and I have a strong suspicion it's going to be totally different from everybody else's. <laughs> so with the correlation between our findings will be most interesting. But anyway. <laughs> All of you here who have made contributions, can I thank you for your effort? Because I'm quite sure you must all have put a great deal of effort into them. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Strickland. Uh, we also we also hear a few words from Professor Bacon Chen. So I just want to 
I, I'm not supposed to be giving a speech, but uh, Professor Tam can't make it, unfortunately, because we've been too prompt. So that's good news. So we can finish early and go home. But I want to say something a little bit different, because I think in a competition like this, sometimes it becomes about the winners. And we're going to talk in a few minutes about the winners. But uh, what I want to emphasize is, however well you did today, and even if you didn't win, I hope you found this a useful process. Because I think for many of you, this may be the first time you've ever had to try and give a speech to people not in your own disciplinary area. And that's actually a very useful skill to have. And the best way of learning is by doing. I think if you had, until you've actually tried it, you don't realize. Now, some of you probably will go away today being rather disappointed with your performance. But I think you should not go away being unhappy or disappointed. You should look on this as a learning experience. I've done it. Anything after this, next time around, it must be easier. And not just from learning from my own experience, but also, I think, by observing everybody else. Because I actually asked, are we going to give everybody feedback? And the answer is no. But actually, I don't think we need to give you individual feedback, because you not only can reflect on your own performance, but you can reflect on everybody else and see what was good about other people's performances and how some people with very complicated ideas still manage to communicate them very well. So please, although we're going to be focusing on the winners in a few minutes, that is not the, the real benefit, I think, of something like this. So I hope you'll go back and tell your fellow students, look, this is a great piece of experience for you to try next year. Next year, I hope, we'll have twice as many applications. We probably will have to run heats next year so that the final one will be a little bit shorter. But I'm hopeful that we will have just as many good ones and hopefully even more and so that we'll not only be able to impress each other and learn, but also be able to tell the community what we're doing. So thank you all very much. I'm very grateful for those of you who have stayed. Are we nearly ready for announce the results? Yes, we are. Okay, so I'll <laughs> hand you back to the MC. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you.